Hello and welcome to Utheme Pro. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the Utheme Pro website builder and explain its basics. When you install one of the Utheme themes in Joomla, the website builder is available in the Joomla backend. To open it, go to Extensions, Templates, and choose Utheme, and then click the big Open Website Builder button. What you see first is that the builder is divided into two parts. On the left, we see all the available tools and settings. Um, we see a close button on the top where we can leave the website builder and some uh, device icons on the bottom that we can use for um, responsive yeah, viewport previews. Um, and we have all the available section with all the settings available to click on um, and we can navigate out again. On the right side, we see a live preview of our website so that all changes that we make in the builder can be viewed instantly here, but they are only stored to um, the server when we hit the save button. So you can play around here in the website builder, but your visitors will only see the changes when you save them. Most of the settings here on the left are global settings, except for the builder, which is used to build um, page layouts. And this one is always dependent on the page that you are currently on. So if I navigate to a different page, um, the tools on the left will update automatically. But any other section here is independent of the page that we are currently on. Now, everything on the right side is a live preview. This means that making a change in any section will be shown on the right, but it won't be stored until you save it. So I'll change just anything, basically. Notice how the close button up here has changed to say cancel, and we have a save button available. So that the changes that I made now um, can be saved if I want to, but it can also revert to the version it was before by clicking cancel. When you are working on page layouts, the style of your website, or basically any other setting available, it's always important to check what your website will look like on different devices, different viewport sizes. For that, we can use the little icons on the bottom. Just click on, for example, the tablet icon to see what the website will look like on a tablet device. Um, if we click that icon again, it will switch to landscape mode. If I click it again, go back to portrait mode. Similarly, we have um, a smartphone sized viewport available. I can also view this in portrait and landscape. And I can always go back to the full size view. And that's it with our little overview of the website builder. Check out the next videos on more detailed looks into the separate sections of the builder. Thanks for watching.